So what does this very large zucchini and this bag of chocolate chips have in common? Chocolate chip zucchini bread! Of course! All right, here we go. We are going to start with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, only I'm using whole wheat, the sprouted whole wheat flour. This flour is a little bit softer than all-purpose, so you may need a little bit more. Next, we have one and a quarter teaspoons of baking soda. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Two tablespoons unsweetened cocoa powder. Now we mix this together and set it aside. We want one and a half cups of grated zucchini. I'm taking one for the team and grating this by hand. Usually I just throw this in a blender and pulse it till it's finely chopped. Although the advantage to doing it this way is that you use less bowls. This is a bowl and this is a tea towel that I got from Target. These are really cheap but you can also use a uh, cheesecloth if you have that. What you want to do is you want to squeeze the water out of this zucchini because get this in there. If you use it the way that it is, it's too wet and it will just make your your bread really gummy. You don't want that. So here we go. See what I mean? See there, you do not want that in your bread. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> All right, let's get started on the wet ingredients. We have a third of a cup of a neutral flavored oil. You can also use butter for the fat, but I like the oil a little bit better. Three quarters of a cup of sugar going in. I'm combining raw sugar with white sugar. Two large eggs. And we're just going to mix these up really well. As you can see, it's gotten a little bit lighter in color. You can keep going and get it even lighter if you wish. We'll stop now because I'm lazy. Back in goes the flour mixture. We'll do it about half and half. forgot we're going to add a third of a cup of apple juice. So we'll do it in, do it now. And now we can blend everything together. Zucchini is now going back in. This is about a quarter of a cup of mini chocolate chips. If you're using the regular size, you'll use a half a cup.
We're now going to get this into a regular size loaf pan, provided I don't drop it. <laughs> This pan has been lightly oiled with uh, sunflower oil as well. This is now going to go into a 350 degree oven for one hour until a clean toothpick is inserted, inserted into the center comes out clean. While that's baking, I wanted to share with you a recent pantry and freezer haul from Sprouts and the Farmer's Market. So I wanted to show you uh, some of the things that I picked up today because uh, I did get a lot of staples, things that are going to sit on the shelf, that can sit on the shelf for a while. Beans, of course, this is how they're selling their bulk bin items now pre-packaged. So I got a couple of packages of beans, one of which my mother's already opened and started cooking. Um, dried fruit now comes in packages like this. this are, these are apricots, figs, raisins, and pitted prunes, which are packaged in these containers now. Of course, I got potato and onion here. I also got some fruit, banana, and uh, orange, and we already had that apple. And then a um, few of the other items are just stuff that it's good to, this is, makes a quick side dish, mashed potatoes that are dried. Um, crackers are good to have around, and the, uh, our protein powder. Oops, can you see that? The sun's kind of weird, sorry. Yeah, so we got our protein powder here. Um, when I buy chopped tomatoes or that no, people normally get in cans, I don't get cans because, A, I can't eat these, uh, what's in there because of the lining. The BPA-free linings are made from corn, so I can't have canned goods. Um, and also, they're, they're heavy and they're awkward to store. So I get, I look for these boxes of anything that I can find. So that's really good for chopped tomatoes, supplements over here. And then this is fruit that uh, berries that I'm going to put in the freezer. And look at this. These strawberries are massive. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I don't know what's been going on with Dara. Maybe because we got a lot of water this winter, I don't know, but the everywhere that I went, you, let me show you what I got from the farmer's market and you'll see what I mean. But the um, produce has just been huge in size. So at the farmer's market I picked up some shard, that's what this is, rainbow shard. I also picked up two things of turnips. You can see these are the baby turnips with these greens. We'll have to cook these soon before these greens start to go bad. Uh, I got tomatoes, two apples that are going to become an apple pie dessert, and this is probably the biggest zucchini. I mean, there we go. The zucchini was just. I mean, in relation to my hand, that is huge. And all of it, all of it was like that. They're just these big, heavy, and they're heavy for their weight. So you know that this is a uh, got a lot of nutrition in it, in addition to water. And then my prize possession. Let me get this off. This massive head of lettuce. And although the prices on some of the items were jacked up, not on the lettuce, this was like $1.75 for this huge, I mean, in, I mean, look at that in relation to my head. And I also picked up a couple of bags of coffee, um, one for me, one for my mother. These I actually, these come as whole beans and then you grind them fresh right there. Or you can bring them home as whole, as whole beans and grind them yourself. Not too much frozen, but I did get 
this uh, organic grilled veggie pizza. I've had this before. It's really good. I got a package of frozen fruit. These are cherries for smoothies. And to add to the, to the meat supply, I just got uh, a couple of packages of these chicken Italian sweet, sweet Italian sausages. And, oh, and yeah, for me, this is one of my guilty pleasures. This is the, the uh, lamb, lamb Sag from Saffron Road. So good. So I picked up one of those for me. And now, back to the main event. The loaf is out of the oven. It's dark rich, moist, and really, really yummy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you won't miss my next one. All right, see you later.